In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a white border to your print and export your image with that white border so you can send it to a photo lab and they will print it with that white border. So in the library module, I have my image selected and then I'm going to select the print module. And this is the module where we're going to set up our 11 by 14 image. And on the left, Lightroom has its own templates, but there isn't one that has 11 by 14. So we're going to set that up. The first thing you need to do is go to Page Setup. And here in my paper size, I will select 11 by 14 and hit OK. You can see that the paper size changed. And then on the right hand side, you're going to go through all the options. I don't want to select zoom to fill because that can crop my image. Um, I will select rotate to fit, although I'm not quite sure why it's not rotating it at the moment. Um, and then down in cell size, I want this image to fill up as much of the 11 by 14 space as possible. So I'm going to move the height and the width all the way to the right. Um, until it fills the page and in doing that that's when it um, enacted the rotate to fill. Um, I don't want any photo info. You see if I click it it'll add the file name. I don't want that in my print so make sure that's unchecked. Under print 2 you're going to select JPEG file because you're going to create a JPEG file that you can then give, give to a print lab. Um, file resolution, select 300 DPI or PPI if it's not already entered. Um, the media type, if you're using glossy or matte at the print lab, um, you can also apply print sharpening here. And then under the printer profile, if you know of a print profile that the printer lab is using, you can select it here. I have these already handy or if I've downloaded another um, profile, I can select one here. So now that we have this all set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a template. That way in the future, if I want to use these exact same settings, I can do that. And it'll just save it in the user templates folder. So. If I cl close this, you'll see my 11 by 14 template. That way, if I, I click on something else and it's not there, I can go back and um, it'll apply that same template. The next thing we're going to do is say print to file. And I will save it to the desktop. And here up here is, is showing your um, status bar. Now the great thing with this is that if you want to export a bunch of photos to print out a lab, you can down here select the ones you need to and then go, th you'll see through this arrow it'll give you a preview of what everything looks like. Um, and so you can export multiple at once. So let's take a look at our file. And I'm going to just open this in Photoshop to confirm all the settings. So here it is. If I go to image size, the, the size of the image is 11 by 13, 14, excuse me, at 300 pixels per inch. And you can see that you have a white border there. So if you have a lab, if you have a photo that isn't exactly 11 by 14, and you don't want the, the lab to crop it, in order to fit the 11 by 14 proportions, then I suggest using this method to export a new JPEG that you can give to your printer.